Uh, one of my favorites, uh, uh, multiple hyperterminals. So typically, to manage a host, you manually you know, connect to it using a terminal. You run your shell commands, or you can do upgrades, install packages, just regular maintenance. Uh, then you do the same for other hosts. Connect to them one at a time, repeat entries, blah, blah, blah. Uh, during that process, can you guarantee that you enter the same operation every time? Uh, probably not. But what if you can apply uh, or run the same set of operations but multiply it across multiple hosts? So that's a huge time saver. Okay. Uh, let me show you how that looks like. Here we have uh, all we did was click on that hyper terminal button or icon, and now for everything, for all the virtual machines in my results list, I can apply some consistency between all of these uh, terminals. And we're going to enter a command called double cloud v search. Okay. So you're guaranteed, of course, you're going to be able to save time, but also you're applying the same command across the board, across all of the uh, your target systems. Okay. Uh, here's a listing of uh, just built-in tools where you can get your time back. Right. Some are used for troubleshooting, gathering information, optimization, security, and so on. Uh, you can probably automate these with scripting. But uh, it, it's already done for you here, right? So they're grouped in categories. Uh, there's vCenter related ones. There's firewalls, uh, inactive storage, um, IP addresses, you know, finding duplicate ones, uh, getting information for uh, VMs, uh, information for hosts, clusters, and data stores. Uh, let's take a quick look at how we can easily find duplicate IPs. Uh, by the way, IPv6 is supported. So um, duplicate IP is pretty destructive, as I mentioned before. Uh, you know, duplicate IP, you can't bring up uh, networking for uh, ESX or virtual machines. Uh, VMs can't connect. Um, you know, you're getting indicators from the VMs themselves there's a duplicate IP. Traditionally, how do you resolve this? Right? Well, you use a combination of tools, ping, ARP, you know, your terminal. You have to know the maybe the MAC addresses, right? But why not just click on this available tool here? What are duplicated IPs amongst all VMs and hosts, right? You can also do a uh, search for all allocated IPs, right, across all your vCenters. Okay. Another big time saver. Uh, before I hand it off to uh, Steve, uh, I just want to cover uh, events. So keeping track of events is just as easy, like working with your inventory. Right? You can find all events across your entire infrastructure using queries. You create what you see here, so you can find uh, events related to security, mix being removed, VM failures. For missing changes and, and so on, right? Okay. So uh, you can use the related searches. There's quite a number of them, as you can see here. Uh, you can use, of course, the uh, text descriptions, event types. You can uh, search using time, um, and so on. Uh, you can also, uh, like I showed you before, using hyperlinks. So you can click on this. Uh, you can further refine or drill down to specific event that you're looking for. Okay. And also there's this time field here. All right. Also the timeline. You can uh, play a timeline of events. All right. So I'm going to hand it off to Steve, but... Uh, this is a Steve's subject is automation, not to you know, steal his thunder. 
But, uh, you know, automation is one of those things that's always on your to-do list probably, right? But you never get around to. So uh, I'm going to hand it off to Steve. Steve, uh, are you there? I'm going to stop sharing my screen.